Yes, I do believe in the existence of a glass ceiling and I think it's reflected in the gender pay disparity and also the low representation of women in senior management and executive positions. I'm excited about the future for women in business. I think that the conversation has changed. It is no longer about women needing to fit in to a male-dominated workforce. It is about embracing the diversity that women bring to that workforce. You know, I think it's really fantastic that we can have days like today where we address the issues that women face. But for the future, I'm really excited about a day where we don't have to have debates, we don't have to have conferences, we don't have to have these sorts of discussions about the women, the issues that women face, because those issues just aren't there. Key takeaway for me is probably that one thing, what can I do? What can I do within the organisation that I'm in, but also what can I do within my community, within the environment that I live in, not necessarily work in, and how I can continue to promote and push uh, women issues and, and gender issues in the workforce in everything that I do. The key takeaways were, I think, the Emma Watson speech. If not me, then who? If not now, then when? Oh, I would definitely attend again next year. Our company this year bought a table and we'll certainly be doing it again next year. Today's event was really successful. It was our third annual New South Wales Women's High Tea Debate in support of National Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, we held it again at the Ivy and completely sold out of tickets. So we had 370 attendees. Um, we had some great sponsors on board, we had fantastic speakers, we all had a lot of fun and we really hope to see everybody here again next year.